Hey Sec, what's up? Welcome everyone to another tutorial of Wave. In this video, we are going to learn how to manage your main settings within this software accounting system. First of all, we are going to start here in manage your profile. Here is where we can set uh, different different types of information such as our personal information, emails and connected accounts, password and so on. We are going to see all of them one by one. In personal information, we can uh, update with our first our name, the country, province, city, the postal code, the debit, etc. Also, we can close our account in case that we we are no longer going to use Wave because we are going to switch to another software and so on. Well, this will be depends. This is up to you. In the second part in emails and connected accounts is to create a new another point of access to Wave, but this will be mainly for uh, for you as a main as a main manager of the of the account. If you want to give access to to your members or to your VPs or to who, whoever, there's a part uh, that we will, that I will show you to you later. A course collaboration, but this one is for mainly for your accounts. So you can just add a new email address, and then we, it will be a. Uh, this new screen and so on, you can add it. Remember what well, here the here the program itself says that well this is only for your email address instead of and if you want for a, a guest collaborator there's another option. In password is just that well if you want to change your password nothing new. Uh, the next point is email preferences. I'm going to stop here a bit because this part is really important. Uh, here's what uh, where the Software accounting system tells you what is he uh, what is going to send it to you to your email. So it can be from the general updates for announcements, account update deals, and then on notification it can be about accounting, invoicing, the payroll, payments, etc. Or you can just unsubscribe from all emails if you don't want to get spammed. This is mainly up to you, but my recommendation is at least to to have the general update and maybe the some uh, some account updates and maybe some notifications really specific but this is again up to you the next part is businesses here is where you can enter to one of to uh, one is the specific uh, settings of your of your account uh, here for example you can see that you can uh, change from your company name that well, is entity or LC or MC you can put your address that will appear in your invoices, the city, the country, province, state, and so on. Of this is all of your of your company, of your LC, of your MC. You have again a lot of options from the postal code to the uh, passing through phone, mobile, or the website. Remember to use always the HTTP uh, because if not, the web pages will not work. Here you can put, for example, your Facebook account, let's say. And you can also, well, again, try to arch uh, archive this business in order that you are not longer using this uh, this accounting system. Uh, the next is Wave Labs, which is if you want to to get a, an access to the new main features of, of the program, here where you can ask for it. This is not mandatory, so only if you are interested into having the latest version and then giving feedback to the company this could be an interesting part for you so we already saw uh, most of the part of the general settings but I would like to add some points so we are going to move to settings right now here in settings there are a lot of parts that we will see along these videos but right now I would like to go to accounting and dates and currency Here is to set the fiscal year and the date format. Uh, the date format it, it could be this one, which is the year and then month and then day, or it could be the month and the day and the year and so on. Well, choose the one, the one that is better for you. This is the fiscal year. Uh, for most of the LCs, will be the 31st of December. So, like meaning that the the fiscal year 
is the same as the natural year. So this well, just at your the end of your fiscal year that will be probably 31st of December. And then here the main it says the main currency. Then once you have all your changes, just click on save and then automatically Wave will save all of your changes, of course. And finally, I would like to move us uh, to other in collaborators. Because remember when I said previously that it is possible to give access to your WAVE account to other members of your department or to your BPs and so on. Well, here's the part where you can give access. So just click on add a collaborator. And here you can choose the first name, last name, then the email, and then which type of access are you going to give to he or she. Just to view, just to view and edit, and then to view, edit and send. This depends on which is the purpose of this visitor, if it is, let's say, uh, the one that is going to do uh, your accounting, like putting the transactions, maybe it could be useful to be view and edit, or if just someone that wants to have some type of control, could be only viewer and so on, so this is again up to you. So once we have checked this part of uh, collaborations, uh, we have already checked the main general options into WAVE. Of course, there are a lot of more parts that we will see along the next videos. So just stay tuned and then expect...